do hangovers cost the U.S.? According to the CDC, they put out a figure that it costs the American economy $249 billion. That's a lot of money. Yes. That includes spending on health care as well as the economic toll of lost productivity, car crashes, crime, and deaths attributable to excessive alcohol consumption. The biggest economic drag is in the workplace. They put that number at $77 billion because of the impaired productivity of the workplace when you're hungover or not even showing up or just showing up and not doing anything at all. Thoughts, five words or less. Yeah, that, that makes sense. <laughs> yes, snooze, the economy lose. That's yes. good. <laughs> That's such a pop trigger, five words or less. That's great. You fit in well here. More coffee. <laughs> and weed's the unproductive drug? Oh, yeah. I don't know. I feel like alcohol is taking the cake on unproductivity, don't you think? Yeah, I would say so. And have you ever, first of all, had a real job? Any of us? Anybody? Oh, get a job? Yeah. Just get a job? Why don't I strap on my job helmet and squeeze down into a job cannon and fire off into job land where jobs grow on jobbies? Yes, I've had job? many real jobs. What is a real job? Yes. Oh, computer. You have to sit in front of a computer. Yes. Yeah. Yes. No. Yeah. It's the worst. Yeah. The worst. Fluorescent lights. Hurts I guess we eyes. have that. Hurts. <laughs> oh, but like trying to focus when all you want to do is just kind of curl up in a ball and do nothing. You know what the trick is, though? What? I would angle my chair. Like, so if my supervisor was, let's say, over there, I'd angle my chair this way, and I would just zone out my friend and my computer, and as soon as I would hear or see my peripheral vision that coming, just... Oh. <laughs> I used to do that at school for, like, essays. Just, I'd, like, copy and paste whole articles from, like, USA Today, so it looked like I was really just... Getting stuff done, but it was but none of my And you're writing. zoning. Yeah, and I was yeah. like over on like Facebook <laughs> in the other tab. Yeah. I had like great. five interns work underneath me, um, not literally, but they. I had five I, interns. because you didn't have any chairs. Yeah, they oh. just, I just sat just on them. On it. <laughs> <laughs> it was such a bad internship for them. Um, but So I had these five interns, and whenever I would come in, their, their job is doing script coverage and like getting me scripts and blah, blah, blah. And uh, when I would be hungover, I would give them just, they'd be like, so like, do you have anything for me to cover today? I'm like, yeah, I want you to type up your five most Im most favorite things about Selena Gomez and I want it to be researched and cite your sources. And they'd be like, seriously? I'm like, seriously, and I want it to take all day. Like, I want it to be an all day activity. I'm not saying that it was a good internship. I'm clearly not there anymore, but that I, I was not productive when I was hungover. Yeah. They're writing like essays on what they learned this It summer. was actually, honestly, I think it was, it was 50 reasons because I needed them to just be doing something. This is, this is I'm gonna get sued. That's horrible. Yeah. It's good. Oh, We're man. friends now. We're all it's friends. Okay. <laughs> have you have you ever showed up to work or an event, hung over the next day, or an interview? I've never been this hungover. I feel great. I ran 5K this morning. Really? No, I threw up in the shower. I have, but I tend to look on the positive and see that it just makes me more like uppity. Like I'm continuing the drunkness from the night before. I'm not hungover. That's I'm great. having a blast. I was supposed to go to, to Nashville. Tennessee. Great city. Memphis. Great. Okay. Nashville. Both Nashville, awesome Tennessee. Cities. Also an awesome city. I was in Nashville and I was supposed to the next day because I did a Nissan commercial. They wanted me at the office on New Year's like day or when everyone got back from New Year's break to hand out donuts because the commercial I was in for them had donuts. It's okay. I'm on a mission. But I was freaking wasted. I spent the night in like we're Franklin, Tennessee, and this guy had to pick me up, and I was just like trying to say, I had to say good morning to everyone, but I was like, take a donut. Please take a donut. Wow, Brett, you've got just endless hangover stories. I'm also hungover right now. So. <laughs> All right, you guys, please share your thoughts in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time on Pop Trigger.